know, Justin Fields, you know, when Ryan and I were at my house uh, calling him, um, obviously a very a difficult decision uh, that we had to make, uh, but we thought it was, uh, you know, the right decision for everybody involved. And, uh, you know, Justin and I had built a relationship over the last two years, and I just told, wished him the best and told him that I love him, and, uh, you know, we'll continue our friendship. You know, if everyone wants to call or, or visit, you know, we'll, we'll definitely do that, but uh, that was really the extent of the conversation. Uh, we thought it was also key that we called some uh, key leaders of our team uh, just to make sure we uh, communicate well, um, like we always do, and uh, we did that, and the guys understood. You know, they understand the profession. Justin. Probably one of the harder things I had to do. Um, I know, you know, I always kind of touch on the empathy part. You know, like having that conversation with my own son was hard. Um, his jersey's up in his room. Uh, so it kind of puts into, you know, puts that into uh, perspective of how difficult those uh, moves are. But really felt like that was best for our organization and best for Justin. I said that at the combine. I want to do right by him. We did that. Um, we had a really good conversation. I actually went to Fluce's house and uh, we had that conversation together with him uh, over the phone and um, again one of the harder things we had to do but I thought it was necessary for us heading the right direction. The Steelers were just an opportunity where it was almost like a more of a you know they have a starter with Russ but there was more of an open competition that felt like from my perspective um, where there are other opportunities where there were some you know quarterbacks that are either veteran guys or young guys that would already been paid so it would have been a tougher situation for him to get on the field. Um, he was positive. His tone was good. Um, you know, I think what was important for Flus and I is to really express to him, although this is a really tough decision, like how much he means to the city of Chicago, our fan base, and us. Um, I thought it was a class act and how he handled the ups and downs of, of the start of his career. Um, but, you know, he sounded good. The tone was good. When did I think... You know, if you go through the whole deal, like in the very beginning, I, I think that was a choppy start, you know, rookie year. Um, and then when, when I came in, you know, we had some cleaning up to do, which then delayed another year of, of, of adding talent and supporting. Um, and then just in terms of the game, you know, I feel like he was making strides and improving. The problem is, and it's really and, and that's what I try to explain. It's, it wasn't just in verse one of these rookies. It's really the timeline and how much runway that you have. Because really, to get a guy up off the ground, you need to support him with as much talent as possible. And then that flips because then they take so much cap space, which is a good thing if you, you get to that point. But then they have to be the reason you start winning. So then it's harder to add the talent you know, around them. And you can look around the league and it, it happens a lot. And really the teams that can uh, sustain success through that period, I think do a really special job. Well, you're getting a great kid, um, works his butt off, um, dynamic. We've all seen that in terms of how he moves. Um, the person's outstanding. Um, you won't be wrong there at all. Uh, in terms of hard decisions, absolutely. Um, his jersey is up, you know, in our house. It's my, my son was Justin Fields for Halloween. So those, those conversations are tough. So I, I get from the fan base um, why that, that's a difficult mm -hmm. thing. Uh, but again, it's my job to really look at the short term and the long term and, and set our organization up for success. It, it, it pisses me off a little bit, to be honest with you, because we were hired to break a cycle. Um, the same thing when I was in Kansas City, uh, Coach Reed, all of us were brought there to break a cycle, and we did. And no one talks about those days anymore. It's all about what they are right now. So. I really believe we're about to break this cycle and get this this city in, in a really good situation and, and win a, a lot of games. Um, so the past is the past. Like I don't worry about that at all. It's about where we're going.